Okay, so I've made a lot of videos that focus on the Roto paint side of combusting, and I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and go into the sort of TD side of it, or the you know technical side of making tools and improving workflows and improving pipelines and things like that. So um, what I'm going to talk about in this is making a really, really basic gizmo and understanding the theory behind, well not the theory, just the basic methodology of making a gizmo and also um, just showing that tool sets exist and how to use them because I went a very long time not knowing what tool sets were and I use them pretty much daily now because they're great. So first thing I'm going to show is uh, how a tool set works and then um, from that we can go into gizmos and how they overlap a lot and there's a lot of similarities. So um, I'm going to make a sort of version of a tool that's on my website. So I'm going to really quickly get that up. Um, I made a tool called uh, Direction Blower Intuitive. And all this does is it, um, it applies directional blur to your image and we're going to make something sort of similar but a slightly simplified version. So the way that tool works is we take a transform node, we rotate the image, we grab a blur node, we only blur in one axis, right, let's pick a bigger value, and then we transform back the inverse, like that. So if we wanted to um, make a tool set for this, what we'd do is we would control double click on this and double click on this and we can have both of these side by side and you want to control drag from this box or you could um, control drag from here and these two values are now linked and if I edit this expression you'll see that it's parented to transform one dot rotate and if we hover our mouse over this we'll see that this is the rotate option in transform one so we're going to edit the expression and we're going to put a minus here and what this is going to do now is whatever we do to this the negative will happen up here so you see we have the ability now to rotate our um, we have the ability to rotate our blur direction which is pretty cool but we can go cooler um, here we have the option to set the blur amount and so once we've got this together if I wanted to use this setup a lot I could grab these like this right click go to tool sets click create and it's going to think about it for a little bit how long it thinks about it we don't know there we go and we're just going to call this um, the blur setup. And now, if I type Derbler, Derbler setup will come up here, and we've got our own little tool set that can do the exact same thing, which is pretty good. So let's go one step further and let's turn this into a gizmo. Turning it into a gizmo, uh, sort of similar. It's not that similar. If you grab these guys here and click Control G for group, it will turn them into a group. And this is going to be the sort of foundation for our gizmo. And we're going to call this Derbler. Um, yeah, we're going to call it Derbler. Alternative. Ooh. And now we're going to have the option to go inside the little group that we just made. Or we can click Delete on this and click the S here, which stands for Structure. And we can go inside. But now, if we want to change our values, we can't because we don't have access to the nodes on the inside. But if you right click on your property bin up here, inside the properties of this specific node, the group node, and click manage user no uh, nodes, we can click pick, and we can pick from the values inside. So what we want to do is we want to pick the transform, and transform one, if you remember, and we want to click rotate. And now we have our rotate option. And then we want to pick our blur option, and we want to pick the size. And now, there we go. We've uh, we've turned it into a gizmo. It's that simple. So now we can rotate our blur like this. 
if we set it to zero, it'll be a horizontal blur and things like that. And if we wanted to, we could, uh, if we wanted to remove the control of people to have both these options, what we could do is we could go into our blur, click manage user knobs, click add, and we could add a floating point slider. And you've got all the options for all the different kinds of uh, knobs that Nuke nodes have. And we're just going to make a floating point slider, and we're going to give people the option to go between 0 and 200. And we're going to call this blur amount. And then we're going to give it a label and call it blur amount. And we're going to remember this. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. So now what we can do is we can go to this value here. We can add an expression. And we're just going to paste blur amount. And what this is going to do is we don't need to put blur 1 here because it's inside its own node. So by default, if you don't put anything here, Nuke is going to search the node that it's inside. So now that we have this, we can move our slider and get a bigger blur amount, just like this. And what we can also do is go beyond 200, if you really like. But uh, we're just going to leave this option. So now, when we come up to here, instead of having the size option, which we're going to get rid of, we're going to pick again. We're going to go on blur. We're going to go on the user knobs that we've made. Grab blur amount. And there we go. Now you have your very own custom directional blur node. And uh, give it a give it a cool color. I like to make mine bright pink. And now what you can do is you can uh, set this to zero so it loads in normally. Right click, tool sets, create. I'm going to call this blur. blur. Ultimate. Yeah. And now if we type in Dabler, we've got the option to pull in our little gizmo that we made. And it's as simple as that. And so every gizmo you use is basically built on the foundations of those really basic things. So if there's a workflow that you use a lot, maybe consider turning it into a tool set or a gizmo. Uh, or don't. I'm not your boss. Bye.